welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in this class, I'll be teaching you how to make uh, this beautiful pointy sleeve. So you can see the sleeve is actually looking exactly like what we have on the thumbnail right there. So in this class, I'll be teaching you how to construct this sleeve and how to sew this sleeve to stand the way it's standing right here, okay? So this sleeve is actually technical. So I'll be teaching you the tips and tricks to it. So if this is what you want to learn in this class, please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. I'll be making use of my peplum stay, okay? So it is the stay that will make the sleeve to stand the way you see it standing there. So I'm going to place my sleeve on, uh, my peplum on fold. Once I place it on fold, I'm going to take the measurement of six and a half inches. Okay, so you take the measurement of six and a half inches. On the folded edge, you take the measurement of two and a half inches. From that two and a half inches, you take the measurement of three and a half inches. Now, at this edge where I have the six and a half, I'm going to connect. You see how I'll place my pattern ruler to connect. So I just go ahead and connect. Then from this three and a half inches, I'll place my pattern ruler from there and connect back to that two and a half, uh, six inches. I believe you understand me. So can you see? So that is exactly the pattern we'll be using for the construction of this sleeve. So I'll just go ahead and cut what I have. Here is on fold. I'll cut what I have from here to that point. Then I'll go ahead and cut what I have from here that point. So if you're on a bigger size, you can actually make this pattern bigger. What I mean is you can, it, it all depends anyway. It all depends if you actually need this sleeve, okay? If you actually need this sleeve, this is what we'll have. Can you see that? So if you want it to be longer than what we have, then you can go ahead and extend here and still connect here. So at the end of the day, once we fix it on the sleeve, this is what we are going to have. So I use this pattern. I'll place it right on top of the shiny parts. You know it's my peplum stay I'm working with. So I'll just position it in a way that I'll be able to. Maybe I'll just come over here. I don't want to waste. So, but whichever way, make sure the shiny part matches with the shiny part as you do this. So I think I got it now. So I'll go ahead and do what and cut out the next pattern. So I just cut out the next pattern. As you can see. I just go ahead and cut, cut, cut. All right, so that is the pattern. So the next thing we will do is to bring the piece of fabric of it here. So I'm adding my seam allowance. I'm adding my seam allowance all around, as you can see. Okay, so now that is what we have. So I'm going to I'm going to place still place this and st and iron. Okay, so this one will stick to this. In fact, this is how I'm going to sew. 
I'll sew all around and turn it from here, okay? So let me, this is what I have after stitching and ironing. So I'll just go ahead and top stitch. This part I have is the part that, that will be the main part and this part will be the lining. It does not have any space. So I'm going to flip all the line, all the seams now and go ahead and top stitch. So I will do that, give it a good press then. So now I'm done sewing the both of them. So you can see these are for the both sleeves, okay? I have to place my sequin, which is the fabric I'm working with. So now I will come into the shoulder head and I'm going to place this, can you see? I'll place it this way. Just put it together and get the midpoint. So here is my midpoint. I'll put my pin it, secure it with my pin. So I'll go back to my machine now and sew to the end and sew to the end. You can see. So at the end of the day, you can see what we have for our sleeve. So now I want to sew the basic sleeve, okay? So to sew the basic sleeve, I'll just turn everything this way. Then I'll come in with my sleeve. I'm going to come in with the sleeve that is supposed to be on this part. Okay, so this is supposed to be for this because I made my notch. So this one is supposed to be here. So I just push it in this way. Match the center line to this uh, sleeve head and match this other one to the, the seam line to the seam line so i'll go and sew around it and we are done with this class you can see how the sleeve is actually looking right here can you see it's actually standing the way it is right there on the thumbnail okay